Hello, I'm Chris, one of the technical trainers here at Stratasys. In this video, I'll review the basics of the GrabCAD Print user interface. This will help you navigate GrabCAD Print as you prepare and print model parts. Let's get started. To begin, you will need to select a printer. At the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you will find the printer selector. This will assign a list of the printers that are assigned to your company account along with the template printer for each printer GrabCAD Print supports. When you select your printer, the interface updates to reflect the technology that you've chosen. For this example, I'll choose an FDM printer on the right-hand side. The top three icons are the view modes. This top icon is the model view. In this view, you will select models on the build sheet and apply other settings from the tools below. Next is the analysis mode view also called the Model Repair view. It is used to identify any errors with the part on the build sheet and to allow the user to correct them without the need to open the original CAD file. To return to the previous view, click on the Return to Model view. And the last view mode is the Slice Preview. This is only available when you are connected to FDM printers. Selecting this icon will slice and process the parts on the sheet and allow you to preview the slice model, including all the tool paths that will be used to print the part. You can play an animation of how the layers will be printed. The tool icons below the view modes allow you to change the settings for the sheet and the individual models on the project. The top icon is the model info tool Selecting this tool allows you to view and adjust the units if the model size was imported too small or too large. To correct the size of the model often just requires changing the units to either millimeters or inches. The tray setting tool is next. It is used to assign the model material, slice height, slice style, and support material that will be used to print all the parts on the build sheet. You can also enable a sacrificial tower to improve part quality and set it to print the full height of the part or to the last swap between model and support material. First, the model setting will allow you to select the infill style and adjust the infill density, the body thickness, and infill angle. Other options include thick and thin walls and variable width fill. The support setting tool allows you to select the support style to use to print overhanging areas of the model. The stabilizer tool allows you to add stabilizing walls to thin parts that do not require support to print but needs stabilization to successfully print due to gravity and forces applied by the print head as it deposits material. The anchor tool allows you to add anchors to a part to prevent curling while the part is built. Anchors are support structures that prevent models from curling as they are built. The arrange tool allows you to position parts on the build sheet or within the project. The orientation tool allows you to change the orientations of the part in the X, Y, or Z axis. This will help you achieve the best balance between part strength, print time, and support structure for each model on the build sheet. The scale tool is used to change the size of the model parts. Assemblies and multi-body parts can be scaled in all axes uniformly or individual parts can be scaled in each axis independently. And the Manufacturing Notes tool allows you to view any automatically generated or manually created manufacturing notes that are associated with the project. These notes can be exported as a PDF file to enable them to be emailed to anyone that is not using GrabCAD Print. Starting on the left-hand side of GrabCAD, you can select the functionality of GrabCAD that you will be viewing. The first icon at the top is the Print View icon. In this view, you will be placed and manage parts on the build sheet. Next is the Schedule icon. This view allows you to view all the jobs scheduled for the printers in your company's account. It will provide an estimate of the completion time for each job. In this view, you can also reorder the jobs on each printer. The last icon on the left is the Printer History view. To use the Printer History view, Pull down the Select Printer menu and choose the printer that you wish to view the history of. This view will display a list of all the jobs that have been printed on the selected printer. In the upper left-hand corner is the Project Panel. 
This will list all the models that are currently on the current build sheet and on the current project. Each project can have one or more build sheets. To add additional build sheets, simply click the plus icon to add additional build sheets or trays. To close the project panel, click the X up here. At the bottom left hand side of the interface are three icons. The update icon will download and install the latest version of GrabCAD Print. By default, GrabCAD will inform you of software updates but will require you to install it. To complete the installation, you must have administrator privileges on your computer. The message icon alerts you to Stratus's sent content related to the printer selected for your current job. The identity icon allows you to select your company account if you belong to more than one and to edit your user interface and to sign in and out of your account. Finally, across the top, we have the different views that are available. We have the top view, we have a bottom view, we have a left view, a right view, a front view, a back view, and an isometric view. There's also the perspective option, which can be turned on or off. The next icon over will view the supported surfaces by looking at the bottom orientation. We can see that the areas in purple will have support structure printed beneath them. The next icon allows the scaling of the preview by selecting it. It scales to show the entire model. The next icon allows you to select an individual model on the build sheet and zoom to that. And the last icon zooms to show the entire build tray or build sheet. And finally, the last icon is to toggle the 3D manipulator, allowing you to manipulate the part on the build sheet. In addition, you can move the parts around on the build sheet by clicking on them and then dragging them to new locations. And you can also right click on a part and get some additional options such as copy and paste. I can copy and then right click and paste and that will make a duplicate of the part. Or if I have many duplicates, I can right click on it and select duplicate. And this will allow me then to make multiple duplicates at the same time. I can also then right click and delete or hide. If I delete the part, it will be removed from the sheet. If I hide the part, it will not be printed but it will be available to bring back at a later time. Also by right clicking, I can move a particular part to a different tray. So I can move this part here to the second tray that I have. I can use the group functionality when I'm working with native CAD files and I can lock or unlock the orientation of a part. And finally, I can add manufacturing notes to the body. Some additional functionality, if I right click my mouse, I can free rotate the build sheet so I can see the parts from any angle. And I can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. At the bottom, we have an estimate button. By selecting this, this will generate a preview of the slice and provide us the estimated build time and the estimated amount of material that will be used for both model material and support material. In this particular example, we see that this, these two parts will take 4 hours and 57 minutes to print and a model material volume of 9.516 cubic inches and a support material volume of 0.915 cubic inches. This concludes the general overview of the GrabCAD print user interface. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the other short mini training videos on using GrabCAD print from Stratasys Academy.